Hey, Sun here, I'm a privacy and a security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. Um, yeah, you may know by now that I'm starting a new company called Superbacked, uh, link in the description. Uh, it's an app that's used to create encrypted paper backups, uh, which are printed essentially on paper. Um, and therefore I have been printing a lot in the lab while developing the app. And I noticed something really interesting. Uh, in the context of Mac OS, and that is valid for both Monterey and Ventura, uh, when you print, at least this is how it has been for me on a Brother printer and on an HP that I have there on the floor, when you print, whatever you print is stored on the computer forever in a special file uh, or folder, I should have said, and that folder here is uh, slash var slash spool slash cup. S well, cups. Uh, this here is the content that I'm watching right now. So let's say we print something. Uh, let's say we print this. This is exactly this block here. Um, and we just go about printing it. You know, that's like nothing special happening here. Um, why can I not see the print button here? Give me a second. Why? Interesting. Okay, my, my screen resolution appears to be so small it won't print. But anyways, print. Okay. Um, if we have a look at that folder I mentioned earlier here, uh, you can see that there is now a file called D0006-001. Uh, so the printer here is printing at the moment. So we just printed this. Uh, what I find very strange is now the printing job has completed uh, and we can see that the file remains right there. So let's let's see what that means. That means that if I pop open a new tab uh, and I sudo and then it's zero zero. Oh, what was the name here? Sun 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 D zero zero zero. Actually, I'll just copy the file because let's be lazy here. Um, if I copy this over to uh, my user's desktop, so user is sun uh, desktop, and then we'll just, you know, call it the same thing, but we're adding .pdf because what I initially printed was a PDF. Enter, uh, shitty password, demo computer, here you go. So we have an exact copy that is stored forever in this folder. So let's say you're printing something uh, to get it out of your computer uh, and you want it gone. I'm not speaking data forensic level gone because as I've mentioned in many episodes, you can't do that on flash storage. Almost, there is one way of doing this on macOS and it will be the topic of a future episode. So if you haven't smashed that subscribe button, it's a good time to do it. But nonetheless, um, I'm doing research because we're gonna be providing computers. So, you know, M1 Max or M2 Max to law firms and users might be doing stuff on them and we did not want the lawyer uh, to be able to access this afterwards or another user. So we wanted those files to be gone. People won't have administrative privileges so they cannot forensically access the raw data on the drive. Um, so yeah, we wanted those things gone. So I was really, really worried when I saw that they don't by default. Now, thankfully, there is a way of making sure that this is flushed uh, and this is what I'm gonna show. So let's say we have a look at this folder again here. Um, there is a command and this is uh, a guide that's available on the Privacy Guides uh, website. So if you go on sonnewtson.com slash privacy guides, there'll be a link down there in the description. Uh, we can start by flushing all of this stuff by running this uh, cancel-a-x command. So again, there's stuff here. If I run this command, it will purge all of this, uh, all of those files. And then uh, we can run those commands here. So if we just copy paste them over uh, and you should never run sudo commands without knowing what they do, but mkdir, this is creating a folder and it's setting the ownership for that folder to your user inside of the admin group. Um, and after which we are creating this little script here. And now I will explain what it does in a second, but you can just run this. Um, what it's doing, it's creating this cups script, which is verifying if there is a line called preserve job history within the configuration file of cups. Cups is what macOS uses under the hood to handle printing. Uh, it's something that comes from the Linux slash Unix world. Um, and then uh, we wanna make this file uh, essentially executable. And once we do this, uh, we can also, whoops, we can run the file. And what this does is it tweaks the configuration of cups uh, to make sure that preserved job history is set to off. 
and it then reloads uh, cups. So once this is done, if we have a look at the folder here and we go back to this file, if I print it again, uh, we'll notice that again, a file will be created and this is how printing works. And it's something that I really hope that there are alternatives to. If you know how to print direct to printer on Mac OS, let me know. It's something that would be very useful to bypass these cached uh, files. But now uh, the printer is printing and we have our copy. But now the beauty is that once the job is over and that should be done within a moment, it then flushes everything in the folder. Um, so yeah. It's something that one needs to be aware of. When we print on Mac OS, for some reason, everything we print uh, persists forever. And if that's the case for you, please let me know in the, uh, in the comments down there. But I mean, it's been the case for me on two separate computers, so I guess it's pretty universal. Ah, yeah, so while I have you there, um, if you wanna learn more about Superbacked, there's a link down there in the description. You can also join waiting list to get a discount when it launches. And uh, yeah, there's also a Twitter page which is pretty naked right now with 16 followers. So if you wanna help out and follow the Superback adventure and you're a Twitter user, please follow Twitter. Uh, it's gonna make me look a little bit less naked there. So yeah, I'll see you soon, bye.